The Make Table Action query allows you to insert records from a query into a new table, or in other words, making a backup table with specific records. For example, I can either come up here, click on the Create tab, and create a query from scratch, and then convert it to a Make Table Action query, or just come with one of the queries that I have down below and right click on it, and then go to the Design View. Again, you don't want to double click on any of these action queries because it's like coming in here in the Design View and clicking on the Run button. We don't want to do that. We may have some updates that we don't like. In any case, what I want to do is I want to come up here, convert this from an update query to a make table query, and then it says, okay, what name do we want to go ahead and give it? We don't want to click on the drop down arrow because we're not adding it to a new query, but we're going to make a new table, so we'll just go ahead and type in the name. So it's my price increase backup. Click okie dokie. And then before I go ahead and view it, or for that matter, run it, I want to make sure that the fields down below are what I would like to include in that new table when I go ahead and click on run to make the table. Right now it's just the book price and the part number. The part number is used to be able to pull up only those books whose part numbers begin with 10 or 14. You know, as you recall in the past couple of training videos, with these wildcards here, when you put it after, in this case the 10 or the 14, it means it doesn't matter the characters that come after just as long as it begins with 10 or 14. So when I click on the view button, like I said, I don't want to make a new table based upon just that field. So back to the design view, go ahead and click on the gray bar just above it, hit the delete key to get rid of it, and then go ahead and add the asterisks. As you recall, when you double click to add the asterisks, it adds the book project table, all the fields within that table without having me to come up here and double clicking on each one to add it. Let me go ahead and click and delete these here, okay? And then click on the view button to see, okay, these are all the um, records that are going to be added into my new table. And again, only those records whose part number begins with 10 or 14. Back to the design view. On the design tab, I'm good to go. Click run. I'm about to paste 17 rows into a new table. Click yes. And there it is, the new table. Price Inc. Backup. Or Price Increase Backup. Double click. Oh, that's so fun. Go ahead and close out of that. And then let me go ahead and not click save, but save it as. Because if I click save, it's going to overwrite my update query as a make table query. So come up here, click on the file, go down to save object as. Q for query, make for make table. Click OK. Click on the file tab to take me back and there we go. Again, this icon, when I come back up here in the query design view, matches this one up here as well. And it's got a cute little table there. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.